Business Access TV is here tonight at the Knoll Guest House in Stony Hill for the American Chamber of Commerce event Beyond Our Borders. The keynote address will be delivered by His Excellency Louis Moreno, the Ambassador from the United States of America to Jamaica. Jamaica has the potential to be the economic growth engine of the entire Caribbean. And it's in my country's interest to see that happen. The Jamaican government has made important strides in reforming the economy to unleash the growth potential of the Jamaican people. These reforms must continue. Ambassador Moreno, now Jamaica and the United States have enjoyed a uh, collaboration on a wide range of issues over the years. Uh, while you're here with us though, uh, what are some of the areas you'll be looking to deepen that relation or those relationships? One of the things we want to do is enhance our cooperation with security forces and if we have a safe and secure, attractive atmosphere environment for American businesses, that's what we're shooting for. And what we want to do is bring American business down here to invest in Jamaica. So we will cooperate on trade, on investment, on security matters, uh, on health issues. We want to be partners and work together. People talk about the, uh, the white beaches, the white sand and the blue skies. But you know what the true, uh, the true value of Jamaica, the true natural resource, the best one, is the Jamaican people. It's unlimited potential. The American Chamber of Commerce is not about a boys club hanging out with uh, the United States of America. There are 28 American Chambers of Commerce in this hemisphere alone. And when I go to these events with Becky and some of our other members, the rest of the AmJams are sitting there with 20, 30 of their top companies. And I'm going to bring that value-added membership to our member base to open up trade once and for all. We need to get the private sector to lead the fight for growth in this country and stop making excuses about all our barriers because there's plenty of examples in this country of companies that have been successful, not just here, but throughout the region. The American Chamber of Commerce has enjoyed a very good relationship working here in Jamaica. You're its new president, so first and foremost, congratulations. And how will you be seeking now to deepen the relationship between AmCham and Jamaica? Well, the first thing we're going to do is bring more value to our members base. 220 members over the last year. First, we brought a rewards program to them to help them save money on their everyday business, travel, and other aspects. Uh, and now we're going to open up trade opportunities for them. Then the next initiative for the every person in Jamaica is to then launch our vocational education initiative backed by the private sector to get our youth to take pride in having not only an educational path to achieve, but a career path that runs parallel with the educational path. What are some of the things you see here in Jamaica which keep you inspired to deepen your relationship? We've gone from 25 employees you know, to 400 employees a little building to two 10,000 square foot buildings. I see the potential growth in the ICT PBO sector and we haven't even scratched the surface. I'd like to announce the arrival of what I consider after 25 years of being in the business, the arrival of Jamaica's premier all-inclusive luxury brand, Melia Hotels International. And for those of you Thank you very much. Thank you. Dimitri, just share with our viewers, though, uh, the work being done by Melia in Jamaica and how you intend on deepening that relationship with our country. Melia International is uh, the largest resort hotel company in the world and as such brings with it tremendous experience when it comes to resorts and all-inclusive concepts. We have over 450 hotels worldwide, but Jamaica has been a very particular point of interest. Our plan is to forge very deep relationships with the industry and with the island by expanding the existing hotel and eventually opening two more locations. It will revive the interest for Brand Jamaica through the type of service that Melia International is expected to give. Business Access TV continues to enjoy the evening at the American Chamber of Commerce event Beyond Our Borders. With me now is Mr. Digicel, Barry O'Brien. Barry, Digicel has enjoyed a wonderful time here in the Jamaican market and every time you seem to outdo yourselves. Uh, what next can we expect as you m make a broader foray into the telecoms industry? We have built a global business from here. 
We're now in 33 markets after launching back here in 2000. So going forward for us, we want to be known as the total telecommunications company. You've seen us diversify into areas now, such as fibre. You've seen us into TV markets. We're soon to launch products like and micro insurance and things. What do you think though should be the next step for the industry in its evolution? What you see is a big movement away from voice. It's about data when you're out and about on your mobile phone and it's about data when you're in your house being able to connect to the internet. In the industry presently is you see a convergence between mobile and multiple other industries. Things like the security sectors with GPS tracking and monitoring. Similarly on the health sectors you see sort of medical alert services popping up. The finance sector with mobile wallet and things like uh, micro insurance coming on board. So it is, the legacy will be being part of the journey of moving from a mobile company to a total communications company. Join us again for more on Business Access TV, serious about business.